Hey guys, I'm just checking in here in Honduras, San Pedro Sula, from the VIP lounge. Cheers, mimosas. And uh, just wanted to basically let you guys in on a little bit of a, of a trip that we're about to do. And I'm a little bit nervous right now because this is the trip that last time, the infamous trip to Germany where, where I was picked up by Interpol and really just put in a black site prison over in Germany and transported back to the States and took, you know, several months out of my life of some really hard times, some tough times, some some very bad treatment and uh, everything has since been covered up by the by the government. But so I'm gonna go ahead and, and kinda just bring you guys along with me on this trip and see what if the same thing happens. I'm doing the exact same trip here working with some some guys that I work with and technically I'm going as a translator because you got to be very very careful. Uh, a guy with my skill set has to be very careful about job titles and international walls and things like that about what I'm actually doing. So going as a translator, uh, obviously you guys who know me and know what I do know kind of what my skill set is and what I can do and, and what I'm capable of. And so basically going here with uh, with some very good friends of mine that are the largest. Uh, growers of organic produce in Central America. So hopefully they can find some buyers and I'm gonna help them out however I can help them out. And funny story, these are the same guys that I was with last time when all the stuff happened. And they were so happy with my skills and my services that even though I was arrested last time that I was with them, they brought me back on again um, after everything was cleared up. So just gonna keep you guys posted on this and take you on through the through the voyage. All right guys, we just boarded the plane here with my friends, Don Lito. Don Lito, saludos. <laughs> he, and his son, Jose Manuel. We are, as I told you guys, on our way to Germany. If you've already seen the video of the kidnapping of my friend here, Jose Manuel, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's on the channel and you can see it here. But I just want to really briefly show you what we always travel with here. The new keychain. Well, we just got into the airport. We went from Dusseldorf to Nuremberg. We're in Nuremberg now, and it's nothing but BMWs here, Audis, all these Bavarian cars, and of course, we got ourselves a BMW. Don Lito. Buenas, Saludos, saludo de la gente de Honduras para Estados Unidos. We are here at the conference. This is the location of the place where I was basically arrested or kidnapped, depending on how you want to look at it, a few years ago. I'll show you exactly how that happened and I'll walk you through it right now. I was walking up here with my name badge. I'll show you the name badge right now to one of these booths. And they had my name badge as accessed as restricted which was very strange. So this is my name badge here. This is what it looks like this year. And the last time when I came up through here, it showed as restricted. And then they told me that I needed to go from here to this help desk over here. And when I came over here to the help desk, basically the next thing that happened was I noticed there were, had been a few people who had been following me, a few gentlemen who had been following me the whole time that I had been here in Germany. And you can catch this story other places as well, but a couple gentlemen had been following me. They turned out to be with an intelligence agency from Germany, a German intelligence agency. And they then, 
asked me, approached me while I was in line at this booth behind me and approached me and said, hey, are you Greg Tambone? Of basically, they said, is your, pan, is your pass canceled? We can help you come with us, da 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 So I knew at that point exactly what had happened. I really had no choice because at these two doors behind me right here is where they led me and there was a, a, a GSG a special, you know, special German Special Forces Police Unit basically Wait, you know, armed to the teeth, waiting for me. So once I got back there, they, you know, it was just I was surrounded in a, in a room full of heavily armed men, and then I just kind of went with them and have, you know, tried and fighting to get to the bottom of it since. And you can read about the whole story online, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take you on this trip. And now it's been two years since I've been back here in Germany, but uh, you know, it's uh, like nothing happened now. Well, we're making our way into the conference. Our bag got delayed. This one bag out of all of our luggage got delayed, which happened to be all of the stuff that we wanted to set up for the table. Here with Jose Manuel, Don Lito, and Juan. We're gonna try and sell some of our organic produce and spices. Obviously we have the Ron Zacapa, 23 year old, some of the best rum out there. We're giving away rum and cigars at the booth. We're gonna meet some people who wanna buy some of our allspice, cardamom, some of the best organic products grown, coffee in Central America, in the world, actually. But uh, if you wanna hear more of the cool stuff, cool crazy stories, you can hear the story of Manuel's kidnapping or, and I'll probably interview his dad and talk about how he was shot kidnapped, robbed, and left for dead, all in the, uh, all in the course of building an empire down in Honduras. So if you guys want to see that story from the big boss man, Don Lito, <laughs> comment below right now. But let's get in here and show you what it looks like. Yep, this is this is where I was entering two years ago. This room right here. And a group of special military police were waiting here to capture me. And I'm back. So we're here setting up setting up the booth. Three presidents. Like I said, the bag came in late, but we're we're getting it all done. If it wasn't for the for the EDC Kanks, which are hundred percent German legal, you can see we're using them here in Germany. We would have had a hard time doing this without these knives. ADC Kank and the super affordable NPE Ghost Knife that can get in anywhere. Alright, guys, well, we're hitting the happy hour all you can eat buffet at the buffet that floats by you here in Germany. Not sure if this is gonna be good or not, but we're about to load up the table. 